Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel and I can't believe it because it is already Monday night, almost Tuesday for a lot of you and we still haven't done reviews on so many of the new future stars including Sokka, Fati, and I want to say to you guys, I'm sorry, we've been a little bit busy. Basically, the Academy upgrade cards have been like the main time consuming things. We're trying to grind those out for you guys to get those reviews up as well. Um, but again, to you guys that support this channel, I'm very thankful for it, man, because it's not going unnoticed, and I'm having a lot of fun with it, so I hopefully you guys are having fun, because it's always the best, uh, when we're both having fun, as, as cringe as that sounds, but anyways, tonight, we gotta check out this guy, because this guy took me all weekend to snipe, and EA just, they, they've had a nightmare today, they've updated this card today to 4 million coins of a price range, um, he was extinct all weekend, I, I had to sit on my uh, web app in the middle of my workout uh literally like sweating i was already sweating my butt off in the middle of my workout and then i had to start sweating more to try to snipe this Sokka. it took me two days to snipe him because this is the guy that i was trying to test out he got a price range update to four mil then he went down to two one while i was sleeping then he went up to two five and now he's two seven he's literally two seven he was just selling at two eight an hour ago so crazy man it's literally just crazy and i've heard incredible things about this card like incredible like people have been telling me that this dude is unbelievable in game so i'm really excited to do this review today um i i think it's gonna be really fun to see how he is guys we're gonna be doing reviews on all the academy fully upgraded cards we've got one on rain on ea and we've got one on cucurella those are up on the channel so go ahead and check those out if you're interested in those cards but anyways we're talking about Sokka boys yes four star four star high medium so very nice ingredients to be a good card here four star four star with the high medium is exactly what you want to see um he's got 96 pace 92 dribbling 86 shooting 89 passing and 80 physical uh with 70 defending and right away when i take a look at that i'm like hold up 70 defending like this dude could be an attacking center mid if he's responsive enough and his in-game body type is lean which is very important guys this is why cucurella is such a good card in game it's because his body type in game is lean and when you have a lean body type combined with the high agility it makes for a card to have some of the perfect ingredients to be very good in game uh now this card in game has 98 acceleration 94 sprint speed 95 attack positioning 86 finishing 90 shot power 84 long shots which all looks really good um what's also nice about this card is his vision is is pretty solid his short passing at 91 is great and his long passing is 84. The dribbling stats is really impressive. He's got 96 agility with 95 balance, 88 reactions, 90 ball control, um, 92 dribbling, and 90 composure. So there's some really nice dribbling stats, uh, you know, that come with Sokka's card. He's also got 94 stamina with 75 strength. So generally, this card just looks absolutely out of this world. Um, I think for me, I think a really good chemistry style for Sokka is going to be the marksman chemistry style. And the reason I think that is because when I take a look at his card, he doesn't really need that big of a dribbling boost. He really just needs it in the reactions. He needs the finishing boost. His attacking AI should already be very good at 95. He doesn't need a boost on the sprint speed because, well, his acceleration is already 98. And that's the main stat that you're going to notice. And then this, this chemistry style gives him 85 strength, which is crazy. So we've got a pretty crazy team, guys. And I, I don't even know where I'm going to test out Sokka to start with. I think there's so many positions uh, that you really could use Sokka in if you wanted to. I think, first of all, guys, just to kind of test out of his, his attacking, AI, attacking AI and the way he plays, um, we're going to try him at the striker, really, to start off with. But we're going to move him around. I really want to try him as a wide player. I want to try him as a center mid. I want to try him as a cam. There's a lot of positions that I want to check out with this card. And I just want to see generally how he plays. So... Um, I'm really looking forward to today's review, man. And, and it's a Monday, so we don't really have anything too crazy. We've just got Div Rivals. Uh, no foot champs on, on our end, guys, uh, for this review. Uh, I think we've also crafted JJ Okocha, which, as fun as Lingard is, I, would, I wouldn't mind having JJ in the squad uh, as a cam. So we're going to search for a game. We've already got one. So, you know, in this case, I'll be able to show you guys the team that we're facing off against. This is a 20 ping match, uh, which should be a pretty good gameplay responsiveness game. And our opponent has left. So when we get a game, guys, I'll let you know. And we'll get right into it. Extremely responsive so far, I can tell you that. Neymar. Test that attacking AI after we make a pass. He Neymar. makes the run inside. He's going to get the space. And we have an interesting delay going on here with the gameplay. Because that should have been a goal. But instead, the game decided to do a little bit of ice skating. 
at the near post though. And what I really like about that right there with that angle is that Saka knows that he's got a really, you know, he's got a primary foot, right? And a lot of time in this game, you have some players that don't understand that and they just shoot on their weak foot. But Saka was able to identify there, hey, I've got a second. And that, I think, is a composure stat. I think with a player that has high composure, they'll recognize that I have time. There's The defender's not close. I can get on my left or, you know, my right if it's my strong. And he was able to bury that. So he has a lean stock in game. But I really feel like there was some strength there, man. I mean, I felt like his strength right there was very, very, like, prevalent and then we almost won the ball back there too super fast man this car feels really really fast that's the dribbling responsiveness we almost get a shot off there not the best angle but the dribbling responsiveness we can give him like the little shimmy there which is really nice what a ball oh my gosh what a ball that is Okay, on the strong foot here, test out that finesse shot. It was a really nice shot, but Chesney made a crazy save. So it's, a, it's like nice strength on the inside there, you guys can see, man. He's able to like really get ahead there on the inside. And we almost get the volley up there. I was testing the volley outside the box. Now his volleys aren't too high, but I wanted to see how his volleys were there. a poor ball giving possession back to the opposition. Able to create the space, and we get a near post finish. So his finishing looks very viable, especially in the box. It looks incredible. I do want to test out a little bit of his long shots, but nice to get the near post finish there. I'm liking what I see. There's the defending, guys. That is the defensive stat right there. If you haven't realized yet, that is the defending stat right there. So right as we were, you know, trying to press up there, because of his high defensive ability... For an attacker, it, w it was an easy, easy win there. And we slot the penalty away, and that puts Sock on a hat trick pretty early on, man. So, definitely a solid card. Well, that is how to play advantage. Look at that run there from Sokka. Can we hit it first time? We couldn't get there. Bastoni, the new future star center back, just held us off but that run after the pass is something that you really want to see on your attackers you want to see these insane you know creative at attacking runs what a pass oh my gosh what was that shot from trent because that pass was ridiculous and then trent arnold what are you doing man working away patiently looking for an opening regain possession they've given it away Look at that strength. Oh, I tried to hit the ball. I tried, I tried to get the space. I couldn't get the space, guys. Loving this guy's dribbling, man. His dribbling is really, really nice around the box. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying this card. I think the way that he moves is great. And I really want to test him next game at center mid. Or even more like a cam roll. Because I think he's got the ability to play it. Great ball into JJ. We got to score that. Oh... Oh my gosh. What is going on? What is going on there, Ye? You have any explanations for that? Or are we just not going to talk about that? Neymar. Saka. Go on, Saka. Come on, get there. Use the strength. That's a foul. That's got to be. So Kiolini out muscles us there. Which is understandable. And we just missed the free kick. I think I just put too much power on it because I think if I had that on target, it was going to go in. Joe Gomez. In possession, Adama. Rooney. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. What a ball. It's, I think it's on. I think he's on, no? It's opened up for him. 
Easy. What a ball from Sokka, man. So we've got Sokka in the cam roll this game. And you can just see the distribution is really nice, right? The passing is really, really, really good. Give me that finish. Give me that finish, Sokka. What, what a nice run there, man. As Neymar was, was uh, you know, driving there, Sokka just was like, hey, the camp position, let me go get in the position for you. Let me make the run. Great stuff. In the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. Oh, my gosh. Neymar just dusted. I want to go to Sokka here. And see. Oh, what a touch on the weak foot. Oh, my gosh, Sokka. Wow. So the quick touch there, he gets the angle, and then he still chooses to use his left, which is actually really nice because you're going to just get a higher percentage shot on the strong foot no matter what. We run inside from Saka. We're going to get the space there. We're gonna... Oh, I tried to body fan and we still got it. I choked that, man. I choked that. What a good play from Sokka, though. I really should have finished there. I just wanted to kind of get a creative, you know, nuts skill run to go in there. But, yeah, feeling really good. Even at the camp spot, he feels great. I think what's important is to see the way he moves after he passes the ball. And right there, even when he passed the ball, he was already getting into space to, like, create a new angle. I don't know. I really like that. I think that's good. What a perfect ball. Ah, oh, he overhit that a little bit. But what I will say to counteract that is that the downwards through balls this year are horrible. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. What a ball. Come on, JJ. Give me that. Give me that, JJ. What a ball, man. Saka picking up the assist with a beautiful pass from the camp position. Give me that. How close he gets to the goalkeeper. It's a really, really good save in the end. Well, not the best clearance. Go on, Saka. Holy moly. Problem solved. That's strength. Now. I don't know if we're going to be able to run here, but yeah, it looks like we are actually. Go on, Saka. Oh, I took a. I freaking used my right stick there. I was trying to play him in behind. So, guys, pretty much we've put Saka in a couple positions now. I think you got it. I think Saka's totally an acceptable center mid. I really think he can play there. Um, I, I think he's great there because um, he's got the physical. But I want to give him one last go up top. I think wide as well he's going to be good. But I just want to get the most out of him, right? And I think the most out of him is, you know, scoring goals, being in those key moments. So we're going to give him one more go, uh, I think, up top. This time we'll try right striker so we can get some of the weak foot finish angles and maybe a couple of the finesse shots for you guys. Oh, gotcha. Let's just name on. Can he take the chance? Saka! Oh my gosh! What the heck? I mean, it was a little lucky to get that rebound, but oh my word, that shot was ridiculous. Woo! That's the defensive kind of like, you know, presence that he has. He's aware that... You know, there's an ability for him to play defense there, and he's able to take care of it, man. We get a nice little ball in the... Oh, no. So, okay, the weak foot cross there. Again, don't know if that's like an EA thing, but that was a horrendous cross. To be we to be fair, it's got to be a glitch in the game because he has 96 crossings. So, on the weak foot, that cross should be way better, in my opinion. Xavi. Ronaldo. Super tackle, and they've won possession. Go on, Saka. Against Joe Gomez. Go on. Giving him too much space. Can he finish? The shot cancel. I don't know what's going on. Oh, my gosh. Ronaldo came out of nowhere. The shot cancel had Joe Gomez. Neymar. Going crazy, man. Look at Saka. Oh, my God. I couldn't get it to go. Oh, my gosh. This guy is so crazy, man. I tried the weak foot finish there. And, you know, I think it was a good idea to see how it plays at that angle. The power doesn't seem bad. Um, I like it. Give me that. Oh, what a save from Allison. we got to test the finesse shots. You guys know what you're going to get on this channel. It's a short one. Look at that dribbling, man. The way he's able to dribble there is is 
the responsiveness is nuts. I'm telling you, there's something with this high agility stat and lean body type this year. If you have it, you're blessed. You're way better in this game. And that is my best attempt at trying a manual header. All right, guys. So overall, my review on Sokka is this card is phenomenal. I don't know if he's worth 2.8 mil, but he's definitely worth that, you know, million coin plus player price tag. Um, I understand why. Now, the positives with this card is attacking AI is phenomenal. His versatility is amazing, right? The way that he is built in game. He's built for pretty much any position. I would play him anywhere outside of center back, so it's up to you. Although, I do feel like if you play him, you know, in the center mid or something like that, he's a little bit wasted. I think he should be, you know, attacking for you. He's got that kind of in-game build to be up there scoring goals and, and putting in that work. So, we ended up having six goals, two assists in three games, but... Yeah, I was really impressed with this card. I think the dribbling was really a highlight for me. I thought the passing was okay. Nothing out of this world. You know, I've seen some players with better passing, but not bad passing. Uh, strength was really noticeable. I think runs, uh, positioning, and finishing were really noticeable. So very, very good card in game. Um, I'm a big fan of this guy. I thought he was phenomenal. I'm, I'm probably going to give him like a 9.2, 9.3, 9.1, something like that. You know, very good card. Obviously lacking the 5.5, five, but even solid on the weak foot, man. I think one of the things that I thought with this card, a little bit sus, the long shots. That's really it. The long shots are not amazing. Um, other than that, really, really good player. So hopefully you guys enjoy the review, and thanks for watching, boys. Peace.